Hey everyone, welcome back to Polarity, my new YouTube channel dedicated to the smarter means of transportation. My name is Lenny J. This video is about Tesla, the Model Y and the Model 3. It is 2 a.m. I have come across this information and I decided to make a video because we got to do this. I have to make a video on this regardless of how late it is, regardless of how late I stay up. If I miss something in this video, just let me know in the comment section. I am very tired. <laughs> I'm going to do this video just raw with me recording my screen and me going through the builder and the Tesla website and showing you what is new on the Model 3 and the Model Y. It's some good stuff for the Model 3, but I want to start with the Model Y because the Model Y gets the most insignificant amount of changes, so it's the quickest one to go through. I've just been going through it myself, trying to figure out everything that I see that's new. So let's go ahead and start off with the Model Y. And the only thing so far I'm seeing that's new is just an increase in range. We have we now have 326 miles of range versus 316 for the long range. And the performance gets a boost to 303, up from 291 in the previous one. These figures are coming off the top of my head from my memory. If I got it wrong, like I said, it's 2 a.m. I'm recording this video because I came across this and was like, I have to do it. So if my figures are wrong or anything, just let me know in the comment section, correct it. I'll pin your comment to let everybody know what everything was correct. But the Model Y just gets a slight range increase for both models. And let's go ahead and switch back over to the Model 3. Decent size changes for the Model 3 as a 2021 model year vehicle. Um, we see just at first glance looking at this, I noticed that the aero wheels were different. We're seeing new aero wheels here. They now have the chrome delete is here. It's not really a chrome delete because it comes with no chrome, but you can see here the black on here with no chrome. I think it looks gorgeous. I love the way that this looks. So off to the side on the right, it says all cars come with a power trunk. So that proves this does have a power trunk now that we heard about earlier in the week from electric and all those sources. It has a power trunk. Electric said that it had that double pane um, window to the glass roof for you know noise control as far as driving so that's probably here I have not found out on the website yet but that's probably here I also have not found out if there's a heat pump on the website but I am pretty sure there's a heat pump because look at this range increase for the model 3 across the board let's start with the standard range plus it is 263 miles. It was 250. It's now 263. We our zero to 60 has not changed. 5.3 seconds. I'm pretty sure that was the same. If I messed that up, like I said, let me know in the comment section below. But I'm pretty sure our zero to 60 has stayed the same for the standard range. Plus, all the cars come with the power trunk. Just throwing that in there too again because that's fantastic. It needed to begin with. We're going to go to the long range one now. The long range one, as you can see here, same vehicle, no chrome and all that. Our range is getting a huge boost for the long range. My memory, If my memory serves me correctly, the long range Model 3 was 322 and now it's 353. That is a huge jump. Our 0 to 60 has also gone down. The car is faster, everybody. The 0 to 60 was 4.4 seconds. Now it's 4.2 seconds. We're going to go to the performance one here. The performance one looks gorgeous. We have these new Uber turbine wheels on here. These are 20 inch Uber turbine wheels, not the 21s from the Model Y. They look beautiful on this thing. I was a Model Y fan. I was a huge Model Y fan. This is the car that I want. This is my baby. Oh, wow. I test drove it. It was great. I have that video later on because it was, it was just lovely. But that was the car that I wanted. When I see this no chrome Model 3, these Uber turbines, you stop it. This might be the car I got to get. This looks gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Our, our range has increased to 315 miles. Our 0 to 60 has also gone down again. Only one tenth of a second this time to 3.1 seconds versus 3.2 in the previous one. Let's go back to the long range one and go ahead and go further into the builder because I want to show you that these these wheels here, these 19 inch wheels, I've had a whole video on why they look different and they look like hubcaps to me. They could have been the um they could have been the new aero wheels. So they do look like they are the updated wheel to me because we have this thicker area here. This area is thicker. It's just not the same. I said they look like hubcaps. I don't really know if they are or not. Doesn't really appear that way with here in here because why would you have to pay extra for hubcaps? But they do appear to be like the newer wheels. They call them sport wheels, 19 inch sport wheels. So yeah, that's that, there's that. So that was the wheel thing before. We're gonna go ahead and go forward here in, in the builder. This is that beautiful center console. I love the center console. I think it looks great. There are a lot of people that don't like the center console and hey, to each their own, everybody has an opinion. 
Uh, I think the center console is great. Uh, there's no more piano black. It kind of just looks like traditional to me, like what you would find in a car, a premium type car. I like the way that it is. This part here in the center, it slides up and back. It is not flipped like before. There is no cover now for your phone. I can see a reason as to why you would want that. I don't. So there's no cover now for your phone. These are wireless chargers still. And so far, that's all I'm seeing with the builder here for this. Uh, everything else is the same. Our estimated delivery down at the bottom, as you can see, is five to nine weeks. I do want to take you back to the beginning of the website, though, and click on the Model 3 just to show you they even updated the photos on the Model 3. Oops, I hit the wrong button. I got to go back. They updated the photos on the Model 3 here. As you can see, the Uber turbines are here in this photo now, and we do have the blacked out parts here with no chrome. I'm going to scroll down here, and you can see, once again, Uber turbines here. Uber turbines, Uber turbines. You can see them rolling in the wind, baby, right there. <laughs> I'm really tired. Uh, you have no chrome here. Just Uber turbines all over the website. The whole website has been updated. But like I said, I couldn't find anywhere on the website where it said there was a heat pump, but there probably is a, a place here. The range has been also been updated on the website. You see down here, three, uh, 353 miles. So this is a great shot of the center console here. The stitching, it just looks nice. The matte black here with no piano black at all. No fingerprint smudges. You can see there's ridges here on the side where you hold your phone so that you don't, while you're hooning around in your Model 3, you're not driving around and your phone's just flying everywhere across the freaking car. So we got little ridges here to help keep your phone in place. And that's basically it. I couldn't find, like I said before, I couldn't find where there's a heat pump in the car. I'll keep looking, you keep looking, let me know in the comment section. I'm very tired, I'm gonna end this video. I was super excited when I saw this, so I just wanted to make this little rustic quick video with me just recording my screen and going through the Tesla website from some of the stuff that I've come across too, some of the extra stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's it, man. This new, let me scroll back and get this photo here to end the video. This new Model 3, this slightly updated Model 3, I think it looks great, I think it's a great step. Huge range increase across the board. Um, nice range increase with the Model Y. Uh, I'm excited. The Model 3, the Model Y was higher up on my list, and the Model 3 has now surpassed the Model Y on my list for the Tesla that I want to get. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next episode of Polarity. My name is Lenny J. I will see you in the next episode.